Hello and welcome to the Calm Before the Storm, as players and fans alike have been given a day off to regroup and get ready for the melee to come. The final nine is set, so let's take a look at the players, one of whom will become this year's World Champion of Poker. Everyone's gunning for the $8.25 million first prize, but each player is guaranteed a big payday, with the prizes beginning at more than half a million dollars. Philip Hilm is going into the home stretch with the much sought after title of Chip Leader. Tipping the scales at more than 22 million, he'll be looking to ride his big stack all the way to the bracelet. A relative newcomer here in the States, Hilm is nonetheless no stranger to poker in Europe. Finishing 15th in this year's EPT Grand Final and making a final table at the EPT Scandinavian Open in 06, Hilm is an established online pro that has made the transition to live tournaments. Originally from Denmark, Hilm currently lives in England. Coming into the final table, second in chips is Tuan Lam, who hails from Toronto, Canada. Lam is originally from Vietnam, but at the age of 19, he made the trip to his current home. Lam worked as a general laborer before learning to play poker from his friends. He's now a full-time pro, and despite attending the WSOP for the last three years, this is his first significant cash. With over 21 million in chips, Lam has a great shot at not only cashing big, but taking down the most prestigious title in poker. John Kalmar finished day six, third in chips, and hails from merry old England. Kalmar certainly needed some good fortune to make it this far, but he actually caught a lucky break just getting registered. Having an admittedly terrible run of cards leading up to the main event, Kalmar failed to cash in even one of the preliminary WSOP tournaments. Crestfallen, Kalmar tried to rebook his airline ticket and return home before the main event. After discovering that it would cost an additional $600 to switch the booking, Kalmar figured that the money could be put to better use. So he invested it in a mega satellite to the main event. And just a short time later, he finds himself going into the final table with a shot at the whole shebang. The man coming in fourth in chips has already set a record, being the only player from the continent of Africa to ever make a main event final table. At the age of 62, he's also the most senior of the nine. Ray Ramey's road to the final table was a long one, beginning with his entrance into the All-Africa Poker Championship where he took fourth. As part of the prize, he won a seat in this main event as well as travel expenses to come to Las Vegas. Lee Childs, one of the four Americans at this final table, comes in fifth in chips with more than 13 million. Childs is an aspiring professional whose schedule is guaranteed to be moved up with his finish in this main event. He holds a BBA in Computer Information Systems from James Madison University and has worked on a wide variety of interesting endeavors, including the Jason Project. Funded by the group who first located the Titanic, the Jason Project is a nonprofit organization designed to inspire students to a lifelong passion for science, math, and technology. Lee Watkinson, no stranger to poker fans, is far and away the most established pro at this final table. One of only two with the WSOP bracelet already under their belt, Watkinson plays for Full Tilt Poker and can be found at all the biggest buy-in tournaments around the world. With more than $2.6 million in lifetime tournament winnings, Watkinson's looking to significantly increase that number at this final table. Apart from poker, Lee's passion is for the welfare and preservation of animals, chimpanzees in particular. Along with his fiancée, Timmy DeRosa, Watkinson plans to someday earn enough money to create a sanctuary for animals in need of help. Lee comes into the final table sixth in chips with just under 10 million. Hot on the heels of the Full Tilt Pro is Havad Khan. A supernova on poker stars, Havad is more commonly known by his online name, Rain Khan. With the dexterity only achievable by a lifetime of playing StarCraft, Khan demonstrated his agility with the mouse when he published a video of himself multi-tabling over 24 simultaneous sit-and-goes. Khan comes into the final table 7th in chips with just over 9.2 million. Jerry Yang is perhaps the Cinderella story of this main event. Making it this far after investing only the $225 it took to enter a series of satellites at the Pechanga Casino and Resort in California, Yang comes into the final table, second last in chips, with almost eight and a half million. He's a psychologist and social worker from Southern California with a master's degree in health psychology. Originally from Laos, Yang has only been playing poker for two years and already he's earned a seat at the most sought after table in the poker world. A humanitarian, Jerry has pledged to donate 10% of his winnings among the Make-A-Wish Foundation, Feed the Children, and the Ronald McDonald House. 
Filling out the roster and heading into this final table last in chips is Russia's Alex Kravchenko. With five caches already at this World Series, including one bracelet and another final table appearance, Kravchenko became the first Russian citizen to take down a bracelet after defeating the largest Omaha high-low field in history. And so this is your final table. And as we've seen already, anything can happen once the cards are in the air. A few players seem to have the advantage at the moment, but only time will tell who will be able to go the distance to become this year's world champion of poker. So with the imminent conclusion of this year's World Series, we're getting ready to publish a ton of extras and bonus material that we've been filming throughout the summer. Get ready for even more player interviews, an adventure on the Bodog bus, and footage from the Poker Stars sponsored free roll. As always, for PokerListings.com, I'm your host, Matt Schauer. Mm -hmm.